Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this pack video short today, we're going to cover Modular Curriculum Development's Lesson Maps. This is the heart of the design of the pack processes in terms of instruction and information that enables performance. PACT is an acronym. It stands for Performance-Based, Accelerated, Customer and Stakeholder-Driven Training and Development of Any Blend. The lesson map. It's the heart of the design. It identifies the learning objectives and the flow of content from providing information to providing demonstration of that information and then asking the learners to apply what they have heard and seen via the information and demonstrations. Not all infos lead to demos and then lead to apos. But typically that's the best approach. Tell them, show them, and make them show it back to you. In the typical lesson map, the first thing to establish after all the data has been sorted is to look with the design team at this accumulated set of analysis data that is supposed to be segmented into this particular lesson and then establish the learning objectives. The learning objective to be, could be to create awareness or knowledge or skill and that should be reflected in the learning objectives. I don't try to polish the learning objectives at this point, we just rough it in if you will. We would establish what is the learner supposed to be able to do at the completion of this lesson. Once that's clear, and we all have shared understanding of that on the design team, we would then move to articulating the final application exercise. What is it that would prove to us, or the facilitator, or the computer system for e-learning, that the learner has mastered the learning objectives? We begin with the end in mind, in terms of the learning objectives and the final application. You'll notice on the form that there is an open and a close, that's standard. We're focused on what is it that they're supposed to learn and how will they prove it, and we start with that. From there we can begin to back out, well, should there be more than one application exercise? Might there be an easy one followed up by the application from Hades? Something that has all of the real world complexity and difficulty in it. There may even be three levels of applications for the learner to finally prove that they have mastered it at a beginning, an intermediate, and advanced level. As always, it depends. Should the applications be preceded by a demonstration? What I like to call a slow-mo demo. The hand is quicker than the eye and demonstrations can too often go too quickly for the learners to see the nuances of the performance. The intent of the demonstration is to slow everything down and to point out to the learners this is what you are expected to do with the information that we've provided you. We're going to demonstrate it for you before you demonstrate it back to us. Then all of the rest of the information can be organized. Again, all of this comes from the analysis data. The enabling knowledge and skills would typically go into this first column and then it would be integrated into a demonstration and then that integrated demonstration is the framework for an application exercise, whether that's a role play or a computer simulation, etc. Some lessons are simply a chain of info, demo, and apo. Some are simply a chain of information. Some have information with no demonstration and then have an application. As always, it varies appropriately to the learner and their incoming knowledge and skill set and what their expectations are for their ability to perform post-instruction. The use of this design framework of events, lessons, and instructional activities facilitates reuse at the instructional activity level and perhaps even at the lesson level. 
an existing lesson map of instructional activities might simply be edited for reuse for another target audience's purposes. This is an example of what that might look like. I've been practicing, publishing, and presenting on these methods since 1982. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.